drug rehab center uses mold, lice, and mentally lifting objects as therapy. Now, former patients and employees are speaking out. This unlicensed rehab center is connected to the Church of Scientology, but many parents say they didn't know that when they sent their children. The I-Team's Nathan Baga has been investigating Narconon for nearly three years. Years, well, Narconon has a drug rehab facility in Caliente that's 150 miles north of Las Vegas in Lincoln County. It's rarely inspected and isolated until now. I'm thinking you better break, Pop. Yeah. A break on the pool table for a game between a once broken family. Good job, son. Drug addiction job. tore this family apart. Justin Vandergreen was an opiate addict. The therapy his parents paid for, $35,000 worth, was certainly not conventional. Talking to walls, sitting two inches from somebody in a chair, looking them eye to eye, how we are right now, almost as if you're trying to steal their soul. And if you were to move, flinch, um, act irritated whatsoever, they would throw you out and put you back in for a brand new two hours. Justin says he had 42 days of sauna detox treatments. You know, after 15,000 milligrams of niacin, it's pretty much a hot burn that goes through your skin. Narcodon's therapy books are written by the late L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of the Scientology religion. Do you ever think that you might be quite mad? Oh, yes. Yeah. The one man in the world who never believes he's mad is a madman. He taught the body was infested by alien spirits he called Thetans. Hubbard wrote in 1968 the spirits dated back 75 million years ago from a galactic civil war against an overlord named Xenu. There was uh, times that they would throw an ashtray out there and they would say, okay, try to levitate this with your mind. Control this ashtray. It's crazy. How do you tell an ashtray to lift up. I mean, come on. John Enchondo, recovering alcoholic, is a former Narconon patient. He claims inevitably failing the ashtray test set patients back. They say you flunk. After completing the program, Narconon chose Enchondo to sell the treatment plan to other families. Returning to the world stably drug-free. Enchondo claims Narconon deceptively markets themselves to parents. There was a lot of 800 numbers, and I called a lot of them. Um, I talked to one gal who I was very impressed with, and she, uh, in turn, had a representative call me back. Um, unbeknownst to me, he was a representative from, from Narconon. The source currently employed at Narconon tells the I-Team they buy up several of the top websites shown on Google, redirecting calls to a Narconon phone bank. And Chando adds, The top 10 are you going to come up on are going to be Glendale, California. And all those calls went to you in Glendale? Yep. And then they would refer them to us, and we would tell them, you know, we're just we're a referral service, but it was all bull. I mean, we you know, the whole thing was to get them into our centers. If they didn't have money, then we refer them out to some, you know, homeless. But I mean, I was good. It's premier facility. Shondo further claims Narconon's finely non polished marketing effort was built on lies. I, I'd tell them, look, they're either going to die, or you know, or you know, send them to us. And, and I'm not going to lie to you, Nathan, I did save a lot of people, you know. But the thing was, is that it's like they didn't understand that it was Scientology, you know. They just didn't, you couldn't tell them that. It's like, why? Who told you not to tell people that it was Scientology? Top of the brass. We went to Caliente to get answers. It's the kind of town built around a train stop where the train doesn't stop anymore. There is one thing that stops here people's willingness to talk on camera about Narconon. Just south of town, their lodge is on a hillside surrounded by ranch land. We went to see the Narconon management and Chando spoke of. And first, a woman named Kate approached us, telling us to leave. Is there a chance that we can uh, interview you or somebody else about no. uh, Narconon? No. No? Another manager. Do you have my cell phone? Give me a call then. All right. And another day later, we got our interview request Hi. answered Hi. in the form of a cease and desist letter. So you guys can't be filming here. It's in violation of federal law. Got a copy of it for you right here. We smiled for their camera and headed toward the former Caliente Hot Springs Motel in town. Narconon leases the motel and keeps patients there. There's mold in our room. Within the first two nights, me and my um, roommate, Jan, we're experiencing bites from bed bugs. 
The day that we returned to the station, we received an overnight package from Narconon and included promotional materials, including a letter from the executive director thanking us for our time and attention. We also received statements from former Narconon patients, but because the names were not given, we could not verify those statements. Go for the bottom half of the ball. So Justin the got the therapy he needed, not from Narconon, but from another drug rehab center. Yeah. The smiles and the fun the Vandergreen family have now hide a pain, a pain in feeling they nearly lost their son, not from what this family didn't do, but in where they chose to send Justin. After the fact, did we let our son down? Absolutely.